Hi Makeup Geeks! I'm doing my own version of the look of the week this week, which is still posted on the main page of the site if you want to check it out. It was kind of this dramatic cat eye with some bright green in the center and then um, some bright purple out here. And so I wanted to do Narania's technique with it with a pencil. I'm not, I've been practicing it maybe a couple times, so I'm not really comfortable with it yet, but I want to challenge myself. So that's what I tried today, and this is what it looks like. Let me show you with the eyes closed. I have some white on the inner part, and then green, and then dark green on the outer part, and then I did the pencil out here with the purple and blended it out. It's kind of a process. I wouldn't recommend this at all for um, during the week. It's kind of something you do for fun or maybe for a special night out on the weekend because it does take some time to do, but it's lots of fun, so hopefully you'll try it, but enjoy. So to start off, I've already primed my lid with Painterly Paint Pot, and then what I'm going to do is take a large fluffy brush, similar to, I think, oh, what is it? I can't remember the name of the brush by MAC, but this one's by Coastal Sense. It just needs to be somewhat large and fluffy. I'm taking some gesso, which is a matte white color, and applying an even thin coat all over the lid and up to the brow. This is to leave a nice powdery smooth finish in order for that um, pencil to give me a crisp line and also make it easier for the powders on top of it to blend. After I get that white shadow applied, I'm going to take Urban Decay's 24-7 pencil in Lust, which is a purple color because I'm putting purple shadows on. What you're going to do is look straight forward and right where that crease is at is where you're going to start your line. So I'm going to start about in here. Now this is the most difficult and time... See, I can't even talk while I'm doing it. It's the most difficult and time consuming part. Once you get that um, pencil line on, then from there it's just a matter of blending a bit and adding colors. But it's getting that defined crease with the pencil that um, is the trickiest. So. I am going to take my time with it. You want to go somewhat parallel with your eyebrows. And then I'm drawing a line down where the end of my eyebrow is down to the corner of my eye. I'm connecting that first line I drew, just drawing it down. Let me get up so you can see. See how it's pretty much an outer V but with a pencil. Then I'm going to start combing in with the pencil and just somewhat following my eyebrow shape staying close to the crease. Okay, so this is what the shape should look like for the most part. You have the outer V or you can make it rounded if you want. It's up to you guys. And then see my eyebrows. I know they're unruly. I was born with them like that. Sorry. Stay with the eyebrow line and kind of curve in. You're going to go in about this far. If you have smaller eyes, maybe go in halfway and you just kind of get the outer part here so it doesn't close your eyes too much. But that's the basic gist of it. Take a really small shader brush like Max 228 and you're just going to kind of smudge out that line and bring it up just a little bit. Just going to fade it just a teeny bit. Take that same brush, the 228, and I'm going in with the color Fig 1, and this is a dark purple color. Looks just like that. You just want something that's pretty much matte and that's dark purple. And I'm going to go over that line and then start sweeping it up. Sorry, I'll pin the bangs in a second. See how funny that looks right now, just because I have that really harsh line above that pencil line I drew. That's okay, we'll blend it out. Wipe that off, take a lighter purple color. This is purple haze that I'm using. So basically what you want for this technique is a dark, a medium, and then um, a light purple to kind of blend it all out. So I'll show you that in a second. Take that medium purple color and blend it up some more. It's okay if it's not perfect because we can fix under that brow bone by just swiping a pencil there. Now once I get the general shape of this, and I know it looks darker than this eye for now, but I am going to blend it a little bit more, take that 242 brush and some nylon, or pretty much any shimmery color since you're doing a lot of mattes on the lid, it's good to have some shimmer under the brow. 
So take that brush and just pat it under the highest point of the arch and then just come on down to the price is right. That was cheesy, I know. You can go back with that fluffy brush that has a little beautiful iris on it, kind of blend the two together. This is definitely not a technique for everyday wear. This would be for a special occasion or you just want to sit down and have some fun and do some art on your face. This sounded like fart, didn't it? Art on your face. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys, it's been a long day. This is my artistic escape from life for right now, so thought I'd might as well videotape it so you guys can get a laugh for the day. It's getting better. It's not perfect, but I'm going to keep going for time's sake. After that, you want to use that same brush, that 242 brush. It's like the 239, but um, a little bit thinner on the ends and a little bit longer, but thinner this way also. I hope that makes sense. Here's the 239 right here, and the one over here, that's the 242. I don't know if you can see the difference. So take that 242 and we're going to put some more gesso on the inner part of the lid. So just dab a little bit in there. Just kind of feather it out and up just a little bit. Then I'm going into the greens. Take some bitter, which is that lime green. It's a, I think it's a satin finish. It's not shimmery, so at least not for the most part. Put this on the um, middle third of the lid. Just blend that out. Take that same brush and go into swimming. You could do wonder grass, humid, whatever darker green that you want. But I'm doing this because I want the focus to be on the purple. I pinned my bangs and they still aren't staying up, so sorry guys. Just blending that out on the outer third of that eye, staying in the in between the lines of that purple basically. And then I'm going to blend it over, wipe it off, take a little more gesso because I want it to be a little softer in here. A little more bitter. Just keep mixing the colors until you get the blending that you want. And that's the basic idea of it. Take um, that brush, that 242, and wipe it off a bit. Let's go in with some fig. You could use a pencil brush if you want. That would be fine too. I'm just trying to show you guys that you don't have to have a ton of different brushes. You can just have maybe a couple. So that same brush, but I put the color on the tip. And I'm going to swipe this under the lower lashes, go about two-thirds of the way in, just smudge it out just a little bit, take a little bit of that Urban Decay pencil, the purple one, and just swipe it in just a little bit, maybe on the outer third, just to intensify that color. Then I'm taking that angled brush by Sonia Kashuk. This is my favorite eyeliner brush now. I really do like this one. I'm going to put on Max Black Track Fluid Line on the upper lashes all the way into the tear duct. If you want to know how to do that, watch previous videos. And then I'll take the black Urban Decay Liner and line the waterline, put on some false light eyelashes, and come back and show you how to finish the look. Okay, so I'm done with the purple and green inspired by Narania look of the week. <laughs> it's got some greens and purples there, and this is what I came up with. And I'm sorry I wasn't able to show you every single step thoroughly like I wanted, but I wanted to get this done in one video, so that's what it looks like. Um, on my lips, I'm wearing the... It's from Heather at Starlet Kiss Pink Lip Gloss. You just need something that's pink or... You could pretty much wear whatever color you want. You don't even have to wear anything at all because the eyes are so dramatic. So thanks again, guys, for watching and subscribing. And don't forget to check out the look of the week on the main page of the site at makeupgeek.com. Makeup Talk to you guys later. Bye.